Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another taste test. Today we're going to try Coca Creamy Soup Curry Flavor. It's a cup noodle, so we're going to open it and put some hot water inside after removing it. Oh my god, what is this? Well, I already know how to do it. <laughs> Three minutes. Five minutes, I mean. Five minutes. And... I need to get this out so if you open it up there will be two packaging the first one is the curry we need to empty this one first then number two and we will put it all inside it's a soup with extra noodles and vegetables when you empty number one this big one is filled with curry powders I guess I've tried emptying the other half but it still looks the same maybe it's just curry again Next, we're trying to put this. It's crushed noodles and vegetables together. Next, we are putting the hot water inside. As much as you want. Luckily, I can read Chinese. It is said that we have to mix it well right after putting the hot water. So it will pretty much look like this when you mix it well and leave it for 5 minutes afterwards. So after 5 minutes, you have to mix it again before eating it and it will look like this. It's full, oh my god. And it's so creamy, thick. So hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and another taste test. Today we're trying this soup with crushed noodles and vegetables. Most importantly, the curry though. I tried a bit of the powder because it got on my fingers and I just licked it. <laughs> It doesn't taste good, <laughs> so I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's try one spoon of soup with crushed noodles. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. I might have put a little bit too much water because I didn't see the line indicator because it says water until the line indicator oh well it doesn't taste really good though I mean it's better than I expected but it's still not that salty Or maybe I haven't mixed it well enough. Wait. Let me try scraping the bottom. That's the worst part. I just wish it, it is a little bit, it was a little bit saltier. But I can understand that this is the taste of curry. However, not the type of curry you would eat with rice and noodles. Kind of just the type that you would eat directly. It tastes better each time. I don't know why. Maybe I'm used to the taste. By now.
It's so hot. It's boiling me up. Like warming it, warming me up, not boiling me up. So hot, but so good. I'm sweating all over. I've been sweating like before <laughs> I shoot this a little bit because it's hot in Indonesia. Okay, I see that I can see the bottom now. I can see that some of the soup powder with the curry powder is still sticking and clumping down here. It's my fault, but it's I don't think it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Mm, after you mix up the powder more. Taste becomes stronger and it's better than ever. Let me just drink the rest. Oh, done! Every single drop of it. Okay, the key here is to mix it well. Otherwise, you'll be like me. At first, you'll think, ah, I need it to be saltier. Second part, oh, it's getting better. The third part, oh, it's the perfect one. <laughs> And you might want to add less water than me. I don't know where's the line, but it was... I think you could use less water so that you can taste more of the curry. And if you really like curry, this is the way to go because I really like curry. Though, um, it's not the perfect curry for me, but it's still amazing. Uh, so I would rate it 7.8 just because it's a new thing with such things and it's because of the taste at the end especially it raised the bar higher and also because of the vegetables they have many vegetables such as I forgot what that is crushed noodles including dehydrated cabbage and carrot that's the only vegetables that they put though it's very suitable for mm, cream soup and curry though I would suggest you add more onion <laughs> well 
onion is usually the pair of curries that's why okay thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video goodbye